The theme for, the, for my video blog this week was triggered by a press report that the share value of CVS, the largest veterinary consolidator in the UK, had slipped, largely because the company was finding it difficult to maintain a sales growth, in part because of the shortage of vets. They were finding it extremely difficult to employ the required number of uh, new vets in uh, CVS practices. And that's an experience, of course, that's been uh, recognised by independent practice owners for some time now. And in previous blogs, we've talked about possible reasons and we've talked about possible long-term solutions. In the short term, however, the task for management is how is it possible to maintain the required level of growth to achieve uh, the business objectives of a practice uh, within the existing manpower, womanpower resources in a, pra in a practice. What we're talking about here is veterinary productivity. Um, are vets productive? Well, they are. They, they work hard and they work long hours. But uh, from my experience with a number of practices, admittedly a few years uh, ago now, uh, if you really examine closely how productive vets are, that is, for every 100 hours a vet is employed, for how many of those hours are they generating income for the practice? Uh, my experience suggests that the figure may be uh, as low as 70% uh, or even less in some practices. Uh, why is it low? Is it because vets are lazy and idle? Absolutely not in my experience. I, I believe that this is a management problem. I believe it's a problem related to appropriate scheduling of uh, uh, veterinary surgeons' time on the one hand and charging properly for their time on the other. So my best advice is that you're, if you're a practice owner or manager and you're finding it difficult to maintain growth because you can't recruit uh, the new vet that you're looking for, the first task is to find out exactly how productive your existing uh, veterinary manpower is. Uh, do some sums. And find out for what proportion of their employed time they're generating fees for the practice and if it's not 90% plus then you need to do something about it. It may be a question of uh, adjusting fees. More likely it's going to be a question of better scheduling, making sure that the vets you employ are only doing the things that vets legally can do and that you're using other, other members of staff to do all the other things which add up to the high level of professional service you're offering for your, um, for your clients. See you next time.